I thank you for availing yourself to be used. The Lord is looking for who to use. Keep the faith. Keep the faith. No matter what happens, there are people who are going to come and take you out of the grave because there are systems that are created. When you are close to God, nothing will be possible to you. Sickness have no right over you. Marital problems have no right over you. One thing you have to note is that always you must remember that someone died for you. Say Holy Spirit, here I am, I love you, I appreciate him. I appreciate him, I appreciate him. Thank you, Holy Spirit, thank you. We love to love you, Holy Spirit. Thank you to be with us today. In the mighty name of Jesus and in the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Yes, indeed, God is with us. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Uh, you may take your seats. Amen. Can you greet your neighbor? Shalom. Shalom. With a cocked smile, say shalom. Shalom. Peace be with you. Amen. Wow. What a wonderful day. A wonderful Sunday. This is the Sunday service where we come to be serviced by God. Hallelujah. In a spiritual garage in the arena of liberty. Hallelujah. First of all, I want to appreciate, I want to honor the grace upon my spiritual father, upon my mentor, upon my prophet, Prophet Isaac. Amen. Papa, I thank you. For taking me uh, since day one, for teaching me, for guiding me, uh, I am what I am today. It is because of you, my prophet. I appreciate you so much, Papa. I'm standing here. I promise. I will never disappoint you. I thank you, Papa, for standing for us as Full Gospel International Ministries. I thank you for praying for us. I thank you for sacrificing all that we have for us. We will stand with you in prayer. No matter what comes, Papa, no matter what happens, you will remain our Father. I want to say this while you are still hearing me, while you are still in the land of the living. Your work is so amazing, Baba. Your work is so precious. Here we are today. It is because of your commitment. It is because you surrendered your life for us. I personally, I don't take that for granted. I know where I come from. I was in a dust bin. You picked me. Thank you so much, Dad. People of God, I want to appreciate. I want to appreciate my spiritual mother, uh, Mami Evangelist Lungi. Thank you so much. The pastors uh, of the ministry, the leadership, the workers. I appreciate you for uh, allowing us to come uh, and uh, have the same grace that you have here. Amen. Let's appreciate all that are here today by the grace of the Lord. Appreciate yourself the more. Appreciate, appreciate. Thank you so much. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy. Uh, the message of today Dedication to God. Hallelujah. Dedication is in dimensions. 
Hallelujah. In this month of, of prosperity, be dedicated to God. Be committed to all that you do for the kingdom of God and for the kingdom of heaven. It brings results. Hallelujah. It brings results. As I said, dedication is in dimensions. Stay dedicated to the things of God for the interest of kingdom of God. Stay focused. Uh, we'll take our readings from the book of Psalms 102. We read verse 13 and verse 17. If there's anyone that can help me. Psalm 102 verse 13. You will arise and have mercy on Zion for the time to favor her. Yes, the time has come for your servants take pleasure in her stones and show favor to her dust. So the nations shall fear the name of the Lord and all the kings of the earth your glory. For the Lord shall build up Zion. He shall appear in his glory. He shall regard the prayer of the destitute and shall not despise their prayer. Hallelujah. We thank God for his reading of his word. Spirit of living God, speak to us in the language that we understand. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Dedication, dedication is the key to your blessing. It is the key to your anointing. You must be dedicated. You must be committed. That is the key to your blessing and to your anointing. Hallelujah. It brings deliverance. You can get that from the book of Exodus 4, verse 23. If you are ready to serve in the house of the Lord, then you are ready to go. You are free from demons. You are free from whatever which is holding you. If we can uh, all read uh, Exodus 4, verse 23. So, I say to you, mm -hmm. let my son go that he may serve me. But if you refuse to let him go, indeed, I will kill your son, your firstborn. Hallelujah. So, dedication brings deliverance. If you, if you want uh, to be free from bondage, from sickness, from whatever which is holding you down. You need to be dedicated in the things of the Lord. That it will bring deliverance. And whatever which is holding you, whatever spiritual husband, whatever demon of poverty, it will never have hand on you. It will let you go because it is the command from the Lord. Let them go. You are free from whatever that is holding you down if you are dedicated. Hallelujah. Dedication, it is the key to prosperity. Hallelujah. You can't prosper if you're not dedicated to God. For you to prosper, you need to be dedicated to God. Whatever which is said by our prophet, you need to honor, you need to follow instructions because you are a dedicated somebody. The problem with us, we come to church with our agendas, 
not the agenda of God. We are not dedicated because we need things of God and we don't need God. Hallelujah. Say, neighbor, who are you? Who are you, neighbor? Say, neighbor, I suspect you. You are a thief, neighbor. There are people who don't love God, but they come to steal the things of God. Hallelujah. They always make sure if they want things of God, they find a prophet to use, a man of God to use, a woman of God to use. You call 24-7, pray for me. Pray for my marriage. Pray for my children. Pray for my papers. Please help me. I need this and that from your God. So people of God, if you are dedicated, you are not going to use anyone, but you know that if I'm dedicated to God, whatever I ask in his name, I have. And whatever I believe, I have. Something has to be seen. Something has to be recorded. When Jesus kept quiet, the disciples come to Jesus and say, take, take this, tell this woman to go out. If a prophet tells the ushers to tell you to go out, one is you are in pain. If you are dedicated to someone, it doesn't matter what is happening around you. It doesn't matter, you don't hear anything. You don't hear prophets. You don't hear be free. You don't hear be delivered. You don't hear. You keep on coming to Jesus. You keep on coming to church. You keep on persisting. You keep on showing faith. You keep on giving faith. No matter what is happening. But the problem with us, we are not dedicated. We want microwave things. You come today, prophet see you. Tomorrow you have your tender. You forget about anything. We want microwave things. But this lady, he was waiting. He didn't care what the disciples were saying. As for me, I was going to beat around those uh, uh, disciples. Say you, you take advantage that you are going with Jesus every day. You don't know my problem. I mean, you'll be beating everyone. I'll be jet chained for that day because I'll be wanting my. But that lady, she was dedicated in, in her faith. Uh, it continues. Jesus said to her, I'm not going to take the food of the children and give it to dogs. Wow, what a language. In my own language, to an angel. Imagine, it's not a crime to imagine. You are, you are facing Jesus face to face for the first time. You have heard, you have seen, you have booklet, you have uh, TikTok. You have done everything and you know what he can do and he's telling you that I'm not taking the food of my children and give it to dogs. It means he's calling you dog. Hallelujah. But this lady, what I like about this lady, he said, yes, my Lord, even dogs. It means I am the dog. But I deserve the anointing, the grace that is upon your life. From today, I'm here to partake to the same grace that you have. People of God, I want to talk to someone today who have the same grace of this woman, who have the same faith of this woman. Even if the 
go well. I know I'll have this job. I know I'll be healed. You keep on persisting because you know what you want. The problem with the people that are not dedicated, they don't know what they want. They are all over and nowhere. People of God, you don't know what you have in this place. Ask me. Since 2012, when I meet my dad, when he picked me, I show faith. I said, I'm not living an inch until I benefit in this class. I tell you, a lot happened. I could wait for daddy to uh, finish service, but I kept the faith. I kept the faith. I was dedicated. I know that something will come out. People of God, even if the ushers they say, mommy, can you stay, stay, stay that side? I kept the faith. I stay in that side, knowing what is going to happen. People of God, don't be quick to, to quit. Don't be quick to quit. Quitters never win, and winners never quit. I want to prophesy by the power of Yeshua, Yamashua, the resurrected Messiah. Keep the faith. Keep the faith. No matter what happens, there are people who are going to come and take you out of the grace. Even the systems won't allow you to benefit because there are systems that are created. If you are graduated tomorrow, you can't get a job easily. Those are systems that are put. There are systems that are put. You can't get that tender easily. There are systems that are put. If you want to be promoted as a female, you need to go to the bed first. Even if there are systems that are created, even if you are called names, even your name is dog, even your name is buffalo, keep the faith. Be dedicated to the things of God. If you are a worker in the ministry, keep the faith. Keep the faith. They can call you a papa. Keep the faith. They can call you names. Keep the faith. Say neighbor. I keep the faith. I keep the faith. I keep the faith. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus, here I am today. Lord Jesus, here I am today. Change my story. Change my life. In the name of Jesus and in the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Where is your husband, my friend? Thank you, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I want to talk to you. Uh, when I saw in the spiritual realm when I was standing on the altar, I saw her. Uh, put in a black blanket. Then on the side, I saw a coffin. The Holy Spirit said, you need to deliver this family. There are forces from your side that wants to terminate your life. You've been followed. I see a tracker that is following your movement from the village. So, mommy, we need, you need to pray. Are you ready to be a widow? No, you are not ready. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I command the spirit that is fighting them. Mighty name of Jesus. Mighty name of Jesus. Come out. Come out. You spirit. Mighty name of Jesus. Spirit 
out of the gate. Mighty name of Jesus. Mighty name of Jesus. Mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I command that blanket to be removed. Mighty name of Jesus. Mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Spirit of anger, Baba. Spirit of anger. Um, this spirit of anger is from your father's side. No, a little thing, you're off. So, you need to take things easy. Because that's some spirit of death who take advantage of this spirit of anger. By the power of Yeshua, Yamashia. Spirit of living God. Mighty name of Jesus. I set this man free. Amen. Where is mama? Okay. Uh, to the same lady. I want to give the word of advice, mommy. Stay close to God. Stay close to God so that the devil won't take advantage. So you need to stand in prayer. And amen. That's it. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, be dedicated. Be dedicated, neighbor. Say, neighbor. Be dedicated in the name of Jesus Christ. Mighty name of Jesus. Mighty name of Jesus. I speak mercy. Mighty name of Jesus. Mighty name of Jesus. I speak mercy, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. The reason why I'm praying for you, Baba, I feel lung, your lungs. Your lungs are in water. Jehovah Rapha is touching you right now. Right here. Mighty name of Jesus. Right now. Right here. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. The name of Jesus and in the blood of Jesus you are free in Jesus mighty name Amen Get up with your hands together put your hands together for the Lord I appreciate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords stand on your feet stand on your feet wherever you are stand on your feet wherever you are stand on your feet stand on your feet I believe you have been blessed by this teaching series by Prophet Isaka. For more information, call us on plus 278-849-9397, plow 278-444-7002, 0114930531. God bless you.